So here we go. You know, we had the shootout API master test kit versus these are the Tetra six in one strips. And, you know, in a side by side comparison, trying to be as non biased as possible, pH of 7.6 in the liquid kit, 7.5 in the test strip. The ammonia was zero, which we could test for, which that's nice. This kit does test for ammonia, very beneficial to new aquariums. Uh, whereas this test strip couldn't test for it. That's, that could be a problem. They make a different test for that. Uh, nitrite was both zero, so they both matched on that one. When it comes to nitrate, uh, the liquid kit was 80 or 90 for sure. And then the, uh, the strip kit was 80 to 100. So I'd say they were fairly similar readings, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to hardness... The liquid kit doesn't come with a hardness kit, just like the that doesn't the Tetra doesn't come with ammonia. You'd have to buy that kit. So you know, kind of a ding against the liquid kit. Um, we got question mark basically. We had 150 hardness with the strip, and I like that because long term I use hardness quite a bit, especially for guppies and cichlids and stuff like that. Uh, KH. The liquid kit you can buy one, but it doesn't come in the master test kit, so that's a question mark. And then we had very low cage, a 10 on this one. So with the actual ones that are comparable, pH, in my opinion, very, very similar. Uh, the nitrite was an exact match. The nitrate was very similar as well. So I kind of make it a toss up. What I do like, and I didn't write that down, but time. This took me seven or eight minutes. This took me one minute. And, uh, you know, with multiple, multiple tanks, I do think time is a factor, at least it is for me. Um, that's why I use the test strips in the store, because one, sometimes you don't bring in enough water, that could be a problem, but two, it's just quicker. And it gets me close enough, right? Like those are, in my opinion, very close results. That's just my own personal testing here. Um, you know, I'm not using pH meters or probes or anything like that, that's just, you know, a normal hobbyist, let's take a look at our water, let's get some insight what might be going on. I know there's too much fertilizer going into that tank, I'm going to back off for a few weeks, let the plants consume it. So that accomplished what it needed to accomplish for me, that's good. Um, but I think you can go right either way. Um, one thing I do want to be clear about, there are some test strips that are terrible. So like API zone test strips, terrible. I think that's part of the problem. Um, I really like Tetra test strips, I like the Mardell test strips, and the Marineland. Hold on. Mardell I haven't tested. Back that out. I, I'm, I don't know about those. But the Marineland ones are the same company as Tetra, so they're the same ones. Uh, so I like those and I use them, and I think maybe the bad rap for test strips has become from uh, the API's own test strips, which absolutely just suck. So uh, that's my verdict of... You can use either one, they're both good, and I don't care which one you use. I use test strips out of speed. Uh, the better value, I think, is the kit. You'll get more tests, it lasts about three years until it expires. This lasts about two years until it expires. That being said, uh, the vials are prone to breakage, I think everyone would admit that. And then it's the time thing, in person and in practice, I find I'm less likely to test here than I am here because it's a time thing and then also know that I would highly recommend that you buy a KH kit and a hardness kit to add to this and then for this kit I would highly recommend you have an ammonia kit as well that would allow you to cover both things um, you know something like this a kit like this uh, 25 test strips will run you 15 ish dollars this runs you 30 ish dollars something like that depends on where you're buying and stuff like that um, so obviously more bang for your buck this is a time saver I like the time saver personally so hopefully that handles the shootout uh, I just wanted to help settle well I wanted to test it and then I was hoping it would settle whether I should be on the bandwagon of yes I should hate test strips or B maybe I should give them a little more credit than they get and it reaffirmed what I thought and it was a perfectly fine method of testing and I've run my whole business on it and a business I worked at before ran their whole business on it. Accurate enough for everyday, um, everyday stuff that I do. You know, if I needed something that was super duper accurate, I might use a Sarah kit 
or even like actual probes that have been uh, calibrated. So hopefully that helped. Otherwise, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Use whatever you use works for you. I'm not here to change your opinion, mostly just to show you what I found because I did all the work, so why not put it out in a video? All right, so I'm waiting for the nitrate test to finish, but we are testing uh, the master test kit here for pH. You know, I'm trying to do this, matching it up in this light here without um, compromising anything, but it looks like we're at about 7.0, maybe 7. Well, hold on, let me get to the side here. I would say it says we're at 7.6. I believe. Uh, so I'm going to write that down here. This is the liquid test kit. pH. And this is liquid. 7.6. Ammonia is registering zero. And we've got the nitrite at zero as well. So now we're just waiting on the timer. And we're, we're going to go to five minutes to, before we can read the uh, nitrates here. And this is the tank that we are looking at. And we've got lots of babies going on in here. We've got, um, you know, some Japanese blue guppies. And then lots of shrimp. And as far as I can tell, been thriving, making tons of babies and shrimp for me. We have on auto water change, that type of thing. So I haven't tested this tank in a long time. You know, I haven't put any fertilizer in here, so we'll see if that's what's going to be registering on the nitrates. But um, you know, so then we're going to basically compare it to this uh, test strip over here and just compare results and talk about it. But we're still waiting here. We've got about 10 seconds left. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to walk over and we're going to compare the color here to the nitrates and get a reading. So this says we have, let's see here, if I'm doing this correctly, I would say it says we have 80 parts per million nitrate. Is that correct? Yeah, I would say 80 parts per million nitrate there. All right, and then since the kit doesn't come with it, we don't know hardness. We don't know KH. So, all right, now let me go, let's do this. And we have to wait a minute, so we're going to start the timer and all that as well. Fair tests here. Let me start my phone again. We can reset that. And we're going to grab this test strip. And we're going to dunk it in. Lift it out. Set it horizontal. And we're going to compare. Of course, I forget to start the timer, so we're going to do it about 10 seconds, like that took 10 seconds. So we're going to do this right here. And we're going to grab this, we're going to move over. Yeah, I've been really putting a lot of fertilizer in here, so it looks like it's going to be true, but whatever the water parameters are, it doesn't really matter because we're testing to see what uh, it compares to. So all we can do is wait, really. But we'll get it in the same light and all that. Let me move this kit here while we're waiting. I'm gonna back off on the fertilizer. I just just dosed uh, yesterday, so it's a little bit higher than I want. All right, so now it's been the minute. We can stop that. We can now analyze. So the first thing we're going to go for is nitrates at the top here. So we're right 
I'm put it right next to everything here. So it says, you know, it could be 160, could be 80, it's right in between there, and it's kind of the same thing as the, the liquid kit. You know, I would say it was more 80 there, and here, I would say it's a little more towards 160, but let's say, you know, maybe the real number is 100, I don't know, but it's really close in my opinion. I could, I could argue that it's 80 or it's uh, 160, and I, could have, I probably could have done the same over here. I probably could have argued it was 90 or something like that, but I'm going to put nitrates over here at, you know, 80 to 100, and I think this over here was 80 to 90 or so. But then we also compare hardness. Well, we can't compare hardness because that kit doesn't test it. But pH, we're somewhere in between probably 7.2 and 7.8, which, yeah, I would say 7.6. You know, I, I would, if I was looking at this, I probably would have said it was 7.5 because that's just what I would have done. I would have said 7.5. And then if we go to, what else can we... Uh, nitrite, they're both zero, that's pretty obvious, and uh, this test strip right here does not test for ammonia, so that's a question mark. Uh, hardness and KH, so my KH is real low, I would say um, zero, well not quite zero, but like 10, it's real low on that scale. So let's say it's 10, that's always a problem in my tap water. And then the hardness here, we've got about 150 parts per million. So that's the test. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you like this type of video. It's kind of a coming out on a Saturday type video. We just kind of try and do these little experiments and just see, you know, it's almost like Mythbusters or something. So hopefully you join me on a live stream. We'll see you in the next video.